So these are what are called the spiral lines, or there's one spiral line shown there and then the back line. And you can see that there's fascia from back here, okay, that wraps around and in the lumbar, also around this way, the lumbosacral fascia, down to the IT bands, all the way down to the leg. Why is that there? Because the human body rotates as you walk. Think about it. Every time you walk and you're swinging your hand, your spine's rotating a bit, rotating a bit the other way, rotating a bit, rotating a bit the other way. So to manage those rotations, obviously you need to have a tension band and a spiral configuration, right? I mean, anything like physics or any engineers out there will understand this. Human body is maybe the most beautifully designed machine ever. And it's just always amazing to me how perfect it is really when it works well. And um, I love to see people heal themselves naturally and get back to this on their own rather than us trying to slice and dice and fix it in sort of a synthetic way. Obviously, sometimes that's necessary, i.e. when there's a fracture. But really, we try to focus in my clinic on these kind of concepts to try to get people functionally improved by fixing the kinetic chain and the connections to the spine. So the kinetic chain is important. The spiral lines are important. And obviously, what the hip does affects what the knee does, affects what the ankle does. The old song is true. The hip bone's connected to the knee bone. It's very, very true. And it's very important. And it's always forgotten by most providers, I think.